takes me a bit longer, Lady Daphne. You, Jacob? Heal Mohort down. Who asks? A witcher. Saw your notice. Hold up. A witcher, you say? Like in Louis Herrera's tales and fables. Luckier than a green bleeding leprechaun I am. See, not a soul around believes this tree is Daphne, the cursed lady of legend. But you, you could lift the curse. Bit too old to believe in bedtime stories, aren't you? Want your chops busted, Witcher? How old I am, that is none of your porking concern. Fair point. Not my business what you believe, either. Ha! Huh. I'm content we see eye to eye. So what makes you think there's a girl cursed inside the tree? Well, I came out with my dog, Moholt, to cut her down. Axe in hand, a broad swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk, and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. My jaw dropped in the dirt. But right then I knew. Every jot of it in the tale of Daphne, Gareth, and the Witch of Lynx, Craig. Don't tell me. From Herrera's tales and fables. You porking bet. Second edition. I meant it in Octavo. I know those tales by heart. My nan read them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover, colophon included. Got me curious, gotta admit. You really think the old tales are true? Taking the weepy, are you? Do you think me balmy? No, it's just these are dark, grim times. No room for nights pure of heart or happily ever afters. So I don't often run into folk like you. Yes, true, the times are crud pie. But I see this as all the more reason to remember the tales. My gran would say, if you know not what to do, Think to the chessboard knight and noble Alondra, and the path they would choose. She schooled me so thorough in it, I could not do otherwise even if I wished to. Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now! Sobs in the rustling leaves. It actually does bleed. Looks like human blood, too. And the bark resembles hypertrophic scars in places. Medallions humming like crazy. Intense magic at work here. Blood seeped from the direction of the tree, judging by the shape of the stain. Logger was making good time. Strange, though. Willow's isolated. No other trees near it. And? Did you look at the tree close? Mm-hmm. Actually does bleed. Pretty incredible. Looks... wondrous. Did I not say so? My help doesn't come free, you know. You speak to a lowly woodcutter. No stench of coin about me. Agreed. I will pay as soon as the young mate is free. Willing to help, but first I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome laugh for each other. Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. I will fecking tell you why! To await the moment when Gareth returns, kerchief in hand. That is the power of love. 
The power of longing. So you must scale Link's Craig. Search there for a means to free Daphne. I will give you my book of tales to refer to. And good luck, Witcher. <laughs>